नमस्कार दर्शक बहन सूर्य वेलनेस एंड योगा सेंटर र भक्ति दर्शन टेलीविजन को संयुक्त प्रस्तुति अरुणोदय योगा को फोर्टी फाइव एपिशोड में यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करदु फोर्टी थ्री एपिशोड देखि निरंतर रूप में यौगिक टक सेशन चलि योगिक टक सेशन में हमी योग गुरु विशालजी संग योगा का इंपोर्टेन्ट टर्म्स में कुरा योगा का फैक्टर्स के अफेक्टिंग फैक्टर्स के इस विषय में योग गुरु विशालजी संग हम कुरा अब भाई लगो कुराफ For starting our show, as usual, we used to do the session with prayer. We'll exactly do the same first. Just sit comfortably, body at rest, and your eyes gently closed. Disconnect attention from the outer world. and try to confine it towards your inside to feel your own existence and just feel the body getting expanded with inhalation and contracted with exhalation for some time and prepare to listen the valuable talks on yoga practices we'll do the prayer For that you could join your palm or you could keep your hand at rest on your knees wherever you are comfortable. Om sahana vavatu sahana o bhunaktu sahviryam तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्त मिषा already we know yoga um, yoga helps to releasing our stress and ngt yes. uh, and uh, how how it can helps to releasing stress and ngt it is very easy for yoga to drop that anxiety or the stress level from your inside it's very easy it is just a matter of some second you sit still and straight for some seconds and just keep your face at ease to keep face at ease is very very important open up your mouth for some second and gently close it and now sense a different state of mind you will reach stay there for some time stay still for some time the more you will be still more reasonless will come with the internal peace with the internal easiness you releasing huge volume of internal contractions which you have stored and which we call as stress or anxiety just in some second span you will feel relief you will find faith in the practice of yoga you will find faith in your own self confidence in you time reach out towards someone who knows this practice well have faith in him and in no time you'll find peace you already talked about this uh in past episode uh let's we give her another question what about the potential of yoga in treating dreadful disease the potential of uh, yoga is huge as we talked earlier as well that uh, any sort of uh, disease uh, could be cured 
out of these yoga practices. At whatever level or stretch or stage of disease you are, there is no problem. If you could reach towards someone who knows these practices well, he or she could lead you towards that cure. But in this modern world, we don't have much faith on these yoga practices. Only such people who, after getting fed up of all the different treatments available in the market, then only they reach towards yoga. Still no problem. If you could find someone who knows these practices well, if you will reach them, he will check the mental state of yours first. He will see how much faith you are keeping with that competent teacher. And if that teacher finds that the person is humble, that person is having just a tint of faith in the yoga practice and then the teacher will take up the burden of yours and with time, with days by days, with the practices, with the instructions coming from the teacher, if you follow them, you will find yourself in better state or condition of the body. So this is how the yoga treats the dreadful diseases. diseases we all know there are different stories of cancer, diabetes, or, or any, any diseases, or any uh, hepatitis, name it, whatever you call it, they have the cure in the practice of yoga. It all lies in the stress, it all lies in the anxiety, and once they get released or they get controlled, you start sensing yourself that the healing, the better condition, the better state, reaching towards you. My faith is full with these yoga practices. If you will also have faith, I think your dreadful or the diseases in the society, we call it dreadful, is no dreadful more with these yoga practices. Anyone could come and yoga has the cure. Yoga has the healing power. Thanks for your beautiful answer. And uh, another question I have already we talked about uh, steps of yoga and positions of yoga. Uh, styles and steps are different. Yes, yes. What are the styles of yoga? Tell me the something. Styles of yoga practices available. Uh, we call it the Hatha Yoga. We call it the Ashtanga Vinyasa. We call it the Yin Yang Yoga. We call it the Power Yoga. So there are different forms of yoga practices available. And all are suiting the needs of the different individuals. No one or nothing is wrong. All wants that you be in better health, you be fit, and you be in better state of mind to live your life. The only one suggestion is that try when you are starting it, do the practice within your limit. Do all the different practices. Find one conducive for your own body and stick with that. Stick to one practice. One practice and the solution of life in wait for you. So just do it. That's important. Take up any practice. All are nice. All of them. All of them. Uh, let's go for another question, okay? What are bandhas? Yes. Uh, the world understands that the, the tough asanas as a, the advanced asanas, to some extent it's right. But that is not just the full picture of the practice. Bandhas are the psychic lock which is inside the body and the three different locations inside. The first is around the pelvic region. It is happening with the anal contraction. The second is around the abdomen. It happens with the navel contraction. And the third one is around the throat. 
it happens with the contraction of the clotters. When we do the different asanas, partially all of them are happening. The more you keep your body stressed, you could sense the anal region is getting contracted. That is called as the first bandha, mula bandha. The more you put stress on the body, gradually, with more breath coming into the picture, the abdomen moving, and you're trying to contract the navel region, you're letting it close with the spine, the body is understanding the bandha called as the uddiyan. And when you're breathing with a maximum stretch, with a position in hold, the breath each time touches the throat, and you are reaching towards the bandha called as the Jalandhar bandha. So these are something about the bandha. When you will start practicing it and when you will start doing it for a long time, the yoga practices, it will happen on its own. Although these practices could be done at separate level as well. Now we are talking about affecting factors in yoga and uh, I have another li last question it's my last question for you for today it's so confusing question says uh, <laughs> put light on history of yoga yes uh, to travel towards the depth of the practice we need to have some philosophy of the practice. We need to have some stories of the practices. The teachings of the yoga practices are very ancient. It is uh, coming from thousands and thousands of years of age, from the Maharshi Patanjali, from the Bhagwan Krishna. And you could also find it in the different religions or the sects spread all over the world. But the authentic teachers have never named it as something coming from Hinduism, something coming from Islam, something coming from Christianity, something coming from any religion. It is just a practice, taintless, pure, divine in nature, ready to help the individuals to live with the minimal heat of the world. It leads us to the understanding of the world. So when you start your practice slowly, slowly, go on finding the different stories around it, go on finding the different teachers of the yoga practices and you will start getting the stories and the history of these yoga practices. So to go towards the the theory or the talk on these things are not much important. Practice is important. You keep on doing your practice and with time, whatever you wish, you keep it inside the head and in due time, it will manifest at the front. So, this much on this question. Thank you so much. You explained lots of positive effect of yoga. 43 episode, it's been really interesting. Thank you so much. We will meet for next episode. Sure. Welcome. Okay. My pleasure. Thank you oh. so much. Dhanabad Darsabin, Surya Wellness and Yoga Center of Bhakti Darshan Television ko sek the prasthuti aruru da yoga ko 45 episode yaha rulai hami le prasthut garista ke kaso 43 episode dekhi nirantar rupma yogi talk session. चलाइ रहे कासों हमें ले योगिक टॉक सेशन में योग गुरु विशाल जी ले यहाँ रुलाई योगा का विभिन्न चौम शहर को विषय में कुरा करने गए इस अक्षण बाकी चा और उन्होंने दाय योगा का संपूर्ण चीम लाए धीरे-धीरे धन्यवाद दी दे आगामी एपिसोड में योगा का फरक-फरक आशन हर का साथ में हमें उपस्थित